And we're following breaking news out of Georgia. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, who is bringing charges against former President Donald Trump in the election interference case, has admitted to a, quote, personal relationship with the special prosecutor overseeing that case. Former President Trump, along with one of his co-defendants, say that their relationship is improper and say the charges against them should be dropped. Let's get right to it with NBC News correspondent Blaine Alexander outside the courthouse in Atlanta. Blaine, walk us through what this means, what was revealed today, and why it's so important. Well, Zinclair, this is a very long filing, and we've been waiting a long time to hear what D.A. Fani Willis had to say. So we're still making our way through this 176-page filing in response to this allegation. But basically, the top line is what you said. They are saying that, yes, even though there was a relationship, it doesn't have any bearing on the case and certainly doesn't constitute any wrongdoing that would have her or Nathan Wade removed from the prosecution of this case. I think there's one uh, section that really kind of speaks to this. I want to read it for you if I can. Basically, Willis writes, the affidavit also clarifies that although D.A. Willis and Special Prosecutor Wade have been professional associates and friends since 2019, there was no personal relationship between them in November 2021 at the time of Special Prosecutor Wade's appointment, and defendants offer no support for their insistence that the exercise of any prosecutorial discretion in this case was impacted by any personal relationship. She goes on to say, courts have held for decades in both civil and criminal contexts personal relationships among lawyers even on opposing sides of litigation, do not constitute impermissible conflicts of interest. So that's the crux of their argument right there. She then goes on to say that there was no financial gain. Again, the allegations here aren't necessarily that they had a romantic relationship, but that she financially benefited from it. And that's what Michael Roman and his attorney, Ashley Merchant, are using to hopefully get the charges dismissed. She's saying there was no financial benefit, that they're both grown adults, strong professionals. They have their own income, and neither of them are relying upon the other. So that doesn't have any bearing here. The other thing that we saw in here that was interesting is that, as we know, Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade have been subpoenaed to testify in the courthouse behind me on February 15th. She says that that's nothing but an attempt to harass and embarrass her and delve into her personal life, and she plans to fight that subpoena uh, as well, Sinclair. So, Blaine, do we have a sense briefly of what happens next? How might the Trump case be impacted here? So uh, there are a couple of things that can happen. Of course, Michael Roman and now Trump has signed on. Uh, a couple of other defendants have signed on to this, too, trying to get the case thrown out. But let's look at the scenarios here. Now, sources that I've been talking to here in Fulton County that know Fonnie Willis say, well, say that it is a near impossibility, if not a complete impossibility, that she would step aside on her own, that she or Wade would recuse themselves from this, as many people have been talking and questioning whether or not they would. The other option, of course, is that if the judge decides, OK, there was improper action here and therefore for Willis, and of course her office, would then need to be removed, in which case it would then be assigned to a different DA, a different prosecutor here in the state. But let's look at where we are. We're in the state of Georgia. So we know it's a very red state. Finding another prosecutor, another DA who would want to take this case on would be very, very difficult, if not highly unlikely. So again, certainly very unlikely that we're going to see her removed from this case or move on from this case. Sinclair. Blaine Alexander, always thorough reporting. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.